What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today's test drive is this 1953 Chevy Panel. This thing's pretty cool. Inline six cylinder, no power steering or power brakes. Very simple up under the hood. What I like doing is taking them down the road, pointing out flaws. That way you know what you're getting. So check us out. MapleMotors.com. We have financing and shipping available for you. 100 detailed pictures. And of course, every Monday I put out about 10 to 15 cars. And we do that every week. And throughout the week, those cars will sell, go on hold. There's a hold policy up here. It gives you a day to come up with the rest of the money. That way you can pick up the car that you like. So hit subscribe, share, hit like. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, what we'll do here is look around the interior before we take off and place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? This one's got a three-speed on the column. It's just three on the tree here in Tennessee. Look at that little cup holder there. The other cup holder here. You put your cassette tapes right here. But hey, even cooler, that's a kill switch. That right there will cut the battery off for you. A little stuff. What's this? It says push. Is that where your sunglasses go? Sure is. <laughs> interior and this one's in pretty good shape i'm loving the big old captain's chairs get the bucket seats in here look at the hardwood floor in the back of this one they did pretty good on the walls and the headliner so we'll go ahead and start her up i think i've already got her in neutral anyways let's see okay yeah it's on now you can hear the fuel pump starts up nice and easy Battery's charging. Coming across the dash. Man, I can hardly even read those miles. I wonder how many times they've turned over. Showing 61, 581. Woo! Pretty basic in here. Blower's not working. Turn signals. I hear them, but I don't see them on the dash anywhere. Uh, wipers should be up here. They're trying to work, but they're not coming up. They're just jumping on us. Every time I turn that switch. So. Place your bets. Did you think the horn worked? <laughs> this one does work. Let's hit the road and we'll find out how she runs and drives. Over here messing with these controls. The seats are working. You can fill it airing up and everything in your back. Reclines. That's pretty cool. Forward, Let's see, a good clutch foot there. Should be easy on driving. Got the seat belt built into the seat. I like ease in here. This is kind of a perfect setup. Turn it the right way, maybe. I don't know what's going on here. That worked. All right, so we're getting ready to take off. Anything I see, you'll know about. That's why I do these videos. Mirror. Mirror's a little bit loose here. It's gonna be need to be tightened up. It's letting out easy. I'm not even having to give it any gas. Seems like it idled up a bit high. There we go. Check my brakes before we leave. This is the first time I've driven this, so give me just a second to get adjusted. Every clutch is different. It is for sure. I'm being easy with it right now. Speedometer's not coming up on the dash. Little grind going into third there. Gas gauge is showing empty, so we'll go to the gas station. Straight as an arrow, go down the road. Don't have a rear view mirror here. Nobody's behind us. We'll get past this guy before I slam the brakes on it. We'll hit them brakes. They're stopping good. Back up in a second here. Push it to the floor. Still a little bit of grinding going in the third there.
but this thing's quite comfortable driving down the road. The speedometer just jumped up to 20 mile an hour. We're running like 45. Again, I can hear the uh, turn signals clicking, but they're not popping up on the dash. They should be popping up right here. And the idle still seems a bit high on this one. Riding into first, too. I'm almost wondering if it's the idle being so high on this one. It's causing it to do that. See, it just pulled off. I wouldn't even give it a gas. I'll see if I can look at it, maybe adjust that. We'll get a little bit of fuel. Gas gauge is on E right now. So. Idle down there. I'm going to check, see if the return spring's tight enough. I'll be right back. Let's see if we can get some gas. See, so you put the gas in on the passenger side. Right here in the middle. It's got a locking gas cap, too. Then, of course, we're going to jump in here and check that gas gauge, see if it works. Turn the key on, fuel pumps on. Gas gauge is not moving, so we know that the gas gauge does not work. Let's take off. Okay, so I went ahead and did the walk around here in the parking lot and I learned something a little bit about this carburetor that's on here. Our choke that's here is not hooked up. You can see it needs a new cable. That is gonna help out a lot when it comes with this truck. Um, it needs a return spring. Let's see if I can get that back in there. There we go. 
on the throttle because the one that's on there is not tight enough and what it's doing is it's not coming back all the way and every time i idle it down it'll pull it back you know randomly so i idled it just enough right now where it's still running good and you'll see what i'm talking about towards the end of the video when i do the walk around but for now let's go ahead here We've got her in drive let's take on the road here I feel like I'm driving a school bus. This thing's awesome. Still grinding every time it goes into third there. Actually pretty smooth going down the road. Got to manually turn off your turn signal. I had mine on the whole time there. Nice. All right. Remembered at that time. Look, double pumping. No. It's always grinding and going into third there. All right, we're back around to the car a lot now. We're gonna pull in here and I'm gonna switch over to picking out the flaws. That way you know what you're getting. Let's try it. No, nope. still going into third. It grinds every time. But that's why I do these videos so you know what you're getting. And I'll be back in here in just a second, guys. All right, we're getting ready to walk around this ride. Anything I can find, you'll know about. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around the front end, you see the front bumper's in pretty good shape. The grill on this one showing signs of pitting and a little rust here and there. Got some scuffs here on the front. Tires are in good shape. Nice set of wheels up and over. Got some nice steps on this one. They look pretty good. Doors hanging a little bit on the bottom. Got some cracks right here in the paint job up around where the fender is. You kind of see them spreading through here too. Got a spot here in the front. A little bit of water there. Let's see where that's coming from the overflow running here and then just look at it and see oh it looks like a hose clamp needs to be tightened right here i think that's what it is it's a little wet there tighten that up when we get back actually i got some tools with me maybe i'll go ahead and do it you got some bubbles popping up in this area here You 
got some pitting here. The lights in this one, the chrome's a little bit faded on the inside, the plastic's a little faded. Got a few little bubbles popping up here, up top. A little scratch there, a little spot here. What's up, buddy? He's hanging out with us again. <laughs> he can hang on as long as he wants, I guess. Front windshield looks good. And up over that roof. Pretty good. Around the back here, your seal's got a little crack in it. You got a crack in the back of the door there. Cracks right here, running, running down. Also here in the back. The seal on the inside there. Not looking bad at all. scuff right here on the door dings at the bottom around this back that's pretty good the interior looks awesome on this one moving the floor it's like some stuff Got on it though. Probably get that off. And the light's not cutting on there, neither side. That's pretty easy. Go ahead and shut this side. There we go. Now it's shut good. Weather stripping hanging out of the bottom here. hanging a little bit got a crack there right around that fender Got some little spots popping up here in that crevice. Kind of see them all the way around there. Chip up here. Little ding here. Pitting on your door handle. Front windshield looks great. Little spot there on the roof.
Got a line in the paint right here in the back. Little bubbles here. All right, let's go ahead and check out that interior and get her started up. Door panel on this one's in great shape. You do got some marks where people are kicking it, getting in and out. Weather stripping looks good around the edge of that door. Carpet in this one looks great. Check that out. That's in good shape. All the controls on this work. Let me put this mat back. Even the seat airing up. Steering wheel's got some chips. Love the way it looks in here. Your seat showing signs of wear. It's not tore up, but it's not in perfect shape either. Jump up in here and put her in neutral and turn the key on till you hear the fuel pump. Hit the button. Oh, let's try it again. Give her a little gas. Yeah, hold up, guys. There we go. She must have been flooded out. So I have noticed on this one that the um, spring is not strong enough. It needs to be replaced. And it's not pulling the throttle back as hard as it should. That was our reason for the idle. That's why it's high right now. And you can see where I loosened, where I undid the throttle. It has caused it to uh, be too low. So give her a little gas. A little spider there. Give her some gas here. Oh, let's try something else here. This is what I'm talking about. The spring there is just not tight enough. I mean. And then your choke up here didn't seem to be connected. Get off there. Get off there. I'll try to choke it manually here. Almost need to stay closed. Got a little bit there. Let's see if it'll do it. I bet it'll start. We'll get her closed. Yeah, it opened all the way up. Almost all the way. Stay closed for me. Please. Sweet. Ha ha. That's all we needed. Yeah, that spring's not pulling hard enough on it and it needs the choke hooked up correctly. You can see it coming down and into the wall here. And if you go on this side and you pull that out, it's not connected. <laughs> so, here's a choke cable. Good deal. That'll help out a million times there. Wouldn't have had to take that off. Wouldn't have had to do everything I just did. But it's going to happen. So I wanted you to know about it. Here we go. I told you I learn on these things as I go. They're fairly easy. I mean, there's not a whole lot there. It's pretty easy to work with it simple. I probably got a spring at the lot that I can throw on there as well. Nice and smooth running. I haven't had any issues out of the motor. It's just that carburetor. We got some spot over here where you can charge the battery without having to get underneath. No 
on down with this hood. You got a little bit of pitting on your chrome. It does shut pretty easy. Man, this thing looks sweet. I've always loved these. I remember when I was younger and I first started working up here, I took one of these to school. <laughs> it was up on the lot. It was sweet. Everybody loved it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. Again, I'll try to put a new spring on this one to make it a little bit stronger to pull back. But it will need a choke cable. Oh, you don't have to do all that. Check out detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. And we get about 15 cars a week, so you'll always see something new from us here at Maple Motors. Again, thank you, and I'll see you later.